All right, guys, what's up? Daniel here. So question, can you use a wireless guitar system for in-ear monitors? Well, we're going to find out. So I think it was about two years ago, I did a video on whether or not you could use Bluetooth um, for in-ear monitors, right? So you have a Bluetooth headset and that goes into your ears and then you have a um, uh, Bluetooth transmitter and that would plug into your system, your PA or whatever you were using. And the results were pretty much what I assumed, which was that unfortunately, because of latency, it kind of made the whole system unusable. Now, hopefully uh, Bluetooth will get better um, and I haven't tested this with the newer versions of Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. At the time, there was just too much latency, and so you noticed there was a slight delay. Recently, I was thinking, well, I wonder if you could use a guitar system, a wireless guitar system for in-ear monitors, just because, why not? And so the answer is yes, you can. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to put one together. Now, granted, this is a pretty, um, I don't know how I would describe this system, but it works. So what you're going to need is a wireless guitar system. For this, I'm using the X5 wireless guitar system. And uh, <coughs> this is actually <coughs> pretty cool. Um, I got this for like $150. And uh, it works great, has good distance. And I actually did an unboxing video on it, like I think a year or so ago. And so that's the first thing you'll need. Um, but you don't have to use this kind, you can use other brands. There are other guitar, wireless guitar system brands. The other thing you'll need is this, at least for this particular setup. Um, and what this is, is this is a female to female <coughs> quarter inch adapter and so what you do is you're going to take the receiver end which is going to be going to your headphones or your in-ears and you're going to take your wireless adapter and oh, i'm sorry you're going to take your uh adapter and your female to female adapter and then you're going to also need one of these which is a quarter inch to 3.5 sorry quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone adapter uh, and you're going to take these and you're going to put this in and this is what you're going to connect your headphones to so this is it essentially right here and then what you would do is you would take the transmitter and that would go into your PA system now with that said there is one caveat and also, before we continue with that, you might ask, well, why would you do this in the first place? Why wouldn't you just use a wireless in-ear monitor system? And the answer is because they're more expensive. That's pretty much all it is. Um, I was looking them up and I noticed that you could get a wireless guitar system for as low as a hundred bucks. But when it came to something for just doing this for your headphones or earphones, <laughs> You're looking at maybe 200, 250, 300, 400 dollars, depending on the system. And so I was like, that's ridiculous. I mean, you're using the same, essentially the same technology. Why does it have to be more expensive? So that's why I uh, decided to try this. And uh, like I said, it works. And um, now I don't have a set of in ear monitors. But I do have a regular set of headphones. These are my grotto. These things are beat up. But um, I just plug them into here, put them on, and you're good to go. You turn on the receiver and the transmitter, they connect, and you're good to go. Now, the one thing that does kind of suck with this system is the signal is going to be mono, right? So because the signal is mono, it's not going to play bo in both ears. It's only going to play in one ear. In this case, I think it, for me, it was just the left ear. 
Although that can work, if it doesn't bother you, then that's great. But maybe you wanted to be in both ears. Uh, I did think of a possible fix for that. It's still going to be mono, but at least it's going to be mono left, mono right. And what that is, is essentially you're going to need another adapter. And this adapter would essentially go on here and it essentially would convert it from, uh, it would just be a little adapter it has, um, it goes from mono to stereo. And so with that, you might be able to get a signal in both ears. One other thing that I forgot to mention about this per using this particular system is that because you're using a wireless guitar system, um, at least with this particular one, there is no volume control. So what you will have to do is either have use a headset that has a built in volume knob, which they do exist, or you would have to essentially control the volume at the source which would be the PA, the sound system that you're using to, that's being transmitted to your headphones. So um, that's the only other thing. So there's a cheap way to have a <coughs> mono, <laughs> there's a cheap way to use a guitar system for your in-ears. There you go. And uh, if you guys have any other ideas that might work, alternatives let me know obviously of course you could just go with a traditional wireless in your system but i thought hmm, why not and the cool thing about these are they're cheap this was like four dollars and this was like uh i think i got a pack of three for i don't know six bucks or probably less than that it was really cheap so yeah you don't have to spend a lot of money and you can take something that you already have and essentially use it for something else. Um, and then another thing you could also ask is, well, what about a mic? Could you take and use this system for a mic? And I'm not sure, I haven't tested it. In theory, I believe it should work. What you would need is an adapter that goes essentially from a quarter inch to a XLR, right? And the XLR in would plug into the mic and then the quarter inch female would plug into here um i don't know if it would work but i believe in theory it should work it'd be interesting to see but anyway there you go so there you have it wireless guitar system used for in-ears